bloody challenge. This bloody Don't minimalization me. stuff. This is bloody hard it's work. It's hard work. It's really oh, hard God. work. <laughs> Don't get any time for ourselves. Just run around like flipping lunatics all the time. Well, at least now we can sit down and have a beautiful pizza. Beautiful pizza. So hi everyone and welcome to our third mukbang. Um, today we're going to um, update you on what's going on again. Me want to get off. And this morning we started off by clearing out the garage and we were very pleased that we got that done. So I just checked this out. Okay, so a lot of this stuff came inside when we had the cyclone. So we're taking all the outside stuff back outside and then we have a clean slate to start with. Today, we're putting this on the bio swap and sell. And like we said before, if it doesn't go, we um, put it in the garage sale. And we've got our big bag and stand. That's going in today. And we've got our man Jeff, a little punching man. I'm going to put him for sale today. See how we go. Hi guys, well here we are. We have cleared some stuff out of here and instead of going to too much trouble cleaning it out, we decided to get some of these big things onto buy, swap and sell. And we've already sold two and a possible third. So what have we sold now? Well, old Jeffy baby, he's gone. He gets picked up tomorrow. And the bag's gone. Uh, that gets picked up tomorrow. Tomorrow again. or next weekend. So and that's a this baby sale. here. Hence why we're going to do the video real quick. There's a gentleman coming around over the gym set in an hour apparently, and if he likes it, that's gone. So we only had one other item that we we're going to have, which is the the um, twister ab twister. And then while we're at it, when we're in here originally, Anne was going to was interested in doing like a garage sale. But because of all these big items in the room, we sort of kind of went, well, stop, we'll hang off on that one. And so we've now sold these, so now we've even added more um, small stuff, which we'll just continually try and sell, and then in the end we'll try and do a garage sale. So preferably get rid of it beforehand, and then what stuff we've got left over, we'll do a garage we'll do sale. Garage. What, do you, yep. what do you reckon yep. on that? So it's been a good day. We've got two definites, one very possible, so they're all going and that's a great sign. And as you can see, we actually did quite well. The three major objects there that we had, which were the gym set, uh, the bag and the punching man, they all sold today. Uh, the gym set's already gone. The other two items are getting picked up tomorrow, if I remember correctly, is that right? Yeah. So look at that, it was, it was put on our local, um, what do you call it? Buy, swap and sell. Buy, swap and sell, gone like that. Ran out the door like a shot. What we originally were going to do was Anne's idea, we were going to do like a, a garage sale, but we decided against that because we've got that much stuff at the moment. We thought, oh, what we'll do is we'll just sell each piece off and see what we end up with. Yeah. And then what we've got left over, we can just put in the garage sale at the end. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you try my pizza, oh, dear? Got to get into the pizza. <laughs> it's going to be a bit messy. Yeah. But also today, what we thought we'd do is we, we went around and... Um, did a bit of filming of what Dave does and um, how he's preparing for our minimalistic lifestyle mm -hmm. and he's done a bit of filming of me. So um, if you're interested, this is what Dave gets up to. Okay, so my lovely Dave here, he's um, learning coding because he wants to be a coder in our travels around the world. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so there you go. Um... In between all this cleaning and minimalizing and trying to organize our lives, I'm trying to brush up on coding. Many, many years ago, Anne and I both were in the same college. We didn't actually meet each other, but we were in the same college um, down in Brisbane, and we were learning uh, information technology back in those days, back in the early 90s, I think. And I sat there and I decided I didn't want to spend my whole life in front of a computer, and I gave up. I'm not too sure what Anne's... Uh, side of it was but I gave it up because I didn't I thought I don't want to sit here looking at the computer screen all day long and then you find you know 20 odd 30 odd years later 20 odd years later you 
sitting in front of a computer anyway. So I've decided it wasn't because... 20, 30 years later though, because it was only just before I met you. So it was only about 15 years ago. Okay, then. It's only 15 years ago. So, <laughs> and Dave did nights and I did day. That's yeah, why we so didn't that's meet. why we never met. But yeah, so okay, now so I've come online hmm? and I'm in the middle of my test at the moment. And I'm with a, um, a website called codeacademy.com. And it teaches you how to do coding. I've got two wrong out of my test so far. The first one I forgot to put HTML up the top here, and the second one asked me what the fifth was in the in the hierarchy of of the uh, coding. So that's a H6. So I put H5 instead of H4. But anyway, that's why I got those two wrong. Um, yeah. So now I'm doing a little test. It's a good website. It's I'm I'm basically starting from scratch again. So what I want to be able to do is do web design and stuff like that. Maybe back a house. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, so while we're living overseas or anywhere we choose to go, I can do that. All I need is this little little laptop here and I can do whatever I want when I want and I can get employment when I want. So. Yeah, so there you go. I'm trying to get back into, I shouldn't say, I'm getting back into programming as in, it's something I can do anywhere, anytime I want to. I don't have to go to a job, I can do it all online. So it's been interesting. Make sure you check out codeacademy.com if you're interested in learning how to coding and how to do websites and back-end stuff if you want to work on servers and stuff like that. Great stuff, good way of making an income. You can get certified on that website so you can get jobs straight from there. And now, what you need to do is check out what my girl does. Talk about multitasking. Check this out. I wanted to show you what my girl does now. She works at a million miles now, has like 300 million pages open. If you can see across the top of that taskbar there, she's got, God knows, it looks like about 10 pages open there, a multitude of pages open along the top of there, and then she's, of course, she's got iMovies hidden in the back there. So this one here can't, seems to talk about multitasking. She does a million there's things at once. There's a third one open somewhere. But, but this is my website that I'm working on oh, at the moment. Okay, so she's building her own website. So this is, this is where go. I enjoy perfect health. I just have to do some more blogs and go to my dashboard. There you go. And so she's this hard is what it. I'm interested in, in, in making websites. So that's something that I'll be learning a lot of and learning all about WordPress. So um, as a digital nomad, I could be traveling around doing websites and doing admin for people uh, as, a, as a remote person. So yeah, as you can see, sometimes I feel like I've got the whole world on my shoulder. There's so much to do. And even though we're minimalizing, making our life simpler, there's so much to do to get to that point. So I've got hundreds of projects on at the moment. I'm trying to learn how to do things. I'm trying to create things. Of course, we're doing the videos. I'm uploading, I'm editing. I'm going to a full-time job still. So it, it's not that easy. And that's why we're a bit exhausted at the moment because we've been running around all day trying to get it all, all sorted. But I am just so pleased that those things have gone out the door. Mmm. This is really nice, babe. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, also, there's another bit here that's showing about what I'm doing is I'm still, even though I'm going to be doing programming on the side to make an income, I still have my passion, which is music. So I will be minimalizing my musical setup. There will be some stuff which I'll show you sometime in the future that I'm going to keep. But there's also a lot of training stuff that I'm trying to get down because I'm actually joined in a couple of, of sites. So check this out. What are you up to, my dear? Uh, in between um, uh, learning coding again and all that sort of stuff, I'm trying to get as much information and training organised for me so when we start cutting out uh, work and all that stuff, I can come back in and do stuff. So I'm still very interested in music production and this website is called Dueling Mixers, which teaches you all about mixing. Um, Great guys, the guy's name's Graham Cochran, I think the guy's name is, and basically you join a, a, a team and you can learn how to mix and what they do on here, like for argument's sake, there's a sound track, and then these guys show you how they mix it, and that there is their, they do an hour long coaching. So. See, there you go, I'm trying to get all this information down on my computer. There's a lot of other stuff going on, I'm still trying to do music. Uh, production and stuff like that and trying to create music but at the moment I'm trying to just get that stuff organized first then I can get back to that so in between the music 
in my pro um, and programming, I can see uh, a nice future anywhere in the world that I want to go to. Mm. So things are going along nicely. We're slowly getting through the stop. Um, like I said, I've got to wait a while to get my redundancy. We've got to wait for our super to come available. So in that time, we can um, go through a lot of our stuff and mark out what we want, what we don't want. Um, I heard a lady, she put a price on everything in the house so when people came, they could buy it and then at the end she just put them in a um, in a garage sale, so that's what we'll do. So that's basically what we're we're doing as well. Um, we're going to do the same thing because there's just so much stuff here to, to, to pass on anyway. And also, check out what Anne did tonight on the, this beautiful picture she's created. It's very messy because we're trying to sit here on a little coffee table. I usually have a plate on you, usually have this on a separate plate, but I'm making a complete mess of myself here. So as you can see by what we've been doing, it is quite daunting. Um, you don't realise how much there is to do in it unless you actually get into it and start doing it. Um, you get sort of excited when you sell a few things and then you look around and you think, well, the house is still full of stuff, even though we've got rid of these big things, you know? There's still stuff everywhere and... I had the guy here this afternoon picking up the gym set and he's going around, oh, so, so what are you selling? I said, everything. And he's looking at little statues and some of our crystals here. But the thing is, when you actually, you actually sign it and you're looking around the house, you're thinking, my goodness, there is so much stuff that's got to be either stored away if we want to really keep it, or we're going to donate to people or we're going to give to family, you know, but when you, I don't know, if you've ever had to do this sort of thing, I can tell you, it's, it's pretty daunting when you're trying to get rid of a whole, you know, 50 plus years of life out of your house. Mm. There's just so much stuff in this place. And it was just today when, when I said everything, and I sort of just sweeped my hand across. You know, we were standing over in the, over in the kitchen, I was looking across all the stuff in, the, in this area here, and I could see into, the, into our lounge room and stuff like that, and I just walked out of the out of the um, garage and stuff where he was just looking at the gym set. You're just looking at the stuff and it's, so, it's going to take us like 10 years to get rid of it. Yeah, I don't think so. That's how I feel about it. You so know? let us know in the comments how you feel. How do you think you would feel if you had to get rid of all the stuff that you that you built up over the years? Especially like you said in the second half of your life when mm. you've uh, spent 30, 40 years working. And collecting and, it all. Yeah, and accumulating all this stuff. How do you feel about that? How do you think you would feel? I'm actually feeling relieved that it's actually going, but... I have to agree, well, I do feel relieved, but I am also daunted at how yeah. much stuff's in. And, and then you think, well, are we going to regret it down the track? or Because I know sometimes people come up to you and they, they talk about something and say, oh, I, I know about that, I've got something about it. And you go and pull something out of a cupboard or out of a bookshelf and you say, yeah, I've got that, I remember that. And you won't be able to do that if you don't own anything. Mm. but. The thought of not owning anything is really freeing, isn't it? Mm. Like, you know, yeah. the biggest noose around our neck would be the mortgage. And yeah. I think if, if we could get rid of that, that would be such a weight off. Mm. But mm. you can't do that and keep all your stuff, no. really. So You're not truly free until you, you get rid of all of your stuff. The things that are anchoring yeah. you to your life, yeah. yeah. So if you've got any thoughts, we'd appreciate it if you put some comments down below. Um, really would like some feedback and have some conversations with people, it would be really good. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And she's still munching, so I'll say ding the bell so you get notifications. <laughs> so anyway... I'm just enjoying my beautiful pizza. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for joining us for our mukbang. I know you haven't had much interaction with us. We've put in a lot of inserts tonight. So uh, on Wednesday night, I'll be putting up the full um, pizza recipe for you. So I look forward to that. And please let us know what's your favorite toppings, what you would put on there. Uh, something that I normally do is put some pineapple on. And I sort of forgot about that tonight because we're so tired and worn out. So anyway, we'll leave it there. So remember that you're never too old. For change. Bye. Bye. Stop. Hello, little person, isn't it? Hello, little person. I want to get off. Mm.